Good morning everyone, it's 6.57 a.m. in Cypress, Texas. This is Francis, your friendly amateur astronomer, looking at some pictures of M95, the galaxy Messier Object 95, which has a new supernova in it named 2012AW. It's important to note that um, galaxy M95 is one of a group of galaxies in what is known as M96, which makes up a larger cluster of galaxies known as the Virgo Galaxy Cluster. Let's go take a look at the pictures I took last night. Now, last night I took 12 images. This morning we're going to take a look at two images. We're going to take these two images and upload them to astrometry.net. Astrometry.net will help us plate solve the images and we'll know exactly where we are in space. Let's get back to the photos. Well, let's do this. Let's sign in first to astrometry.net. I'll use my Google ID, open ID. Here I are, in, in my dashboard. And we'll look at my images. So far to date, uh, we're dealing with. Um, well, I could tell if I, if I looked at each one, does that one come up? Let's see what this one is. I'll tell you which, what this was of. Uh, this is my friend Orange Eye. This is Orange Eye's photo that I uploaded of uh, K12D14A. I'll tell you what this is. And see, they give you, after they plate solve, they tell you what uh, galaxies in it in your image without you having to find out. And then they give you sky charts, and they give you a lot more over here at nova.astrometry.net here it is they'll give you the sky map of where that object is how do they know where the object is they know because they plate solve all the stars there camera the, the the software has gone through and picked up all the stars and then found out the ones it knows and to find out the ones it doesn't know and then they'll use this uh, to uh, pinpoint where you are original and now what I want to do because this isn't about these images these are going to be about the images of M95 I'm going to do it in color and I'm using the Mac Ally software I'm just going to go ahead and do it the way it wants to give it to me there's adjustments in there that I don't normally uh, use. I'm going to move this into a better location. That is from last night, 2012, March 21st. It's a color image, binning one time, exposed for 90 seconds. I'm going to leave that. We're going to open up another one. You can do grayscale, and we can go back and look at grayscale, because that's probably going to help us um, when we need to uh, examine the photos better. Now, what I'm going to do first, is upload these photos over here to uh, nova.astrometry.net. Open, upload, right click, open new link, back in here, choose a file, do number two, open, upload, and then we have these working. And I needed to do that because those will get on. Uh, we'll see what happens to those in a little bit. But let's get back to our photos. Let's look at the, 
I need to. What I need to do is stretch this out a little bit so I can work with these photos. There. I wonder if we should line them up. You think we should line it up? Let's line it up. This is the frustrating part of doing this, but I think it'll help if I just go ahead and do it right away. Gonna mess up. I should have left it alone. Good enough. Okay, let's see. Now I'm gonna start adjusting. I'm start seeing more things. I'm gonna be looking for the. Uh, Kind of went fast there, but there it is. There it is. M95. Let's go to the back one. And you'll see the supernova show up down here. The supernova's there. That's gonna be it. that's gonna be the supernova right there. I already know it is, which is really cool because we have the supernova. And I'm gonna be able to adjust this more. Uh, see, I overdid it. Overexposed. Overexposed. I want to be able to. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking for anything moving. We're actually paying attention to the supernova. Because see, actually, I'm gonna sneeze. I have a sneeze in here. I was watching a story about allergies. Here comes the sneeze. Sorry. I hope you didn't hear that. I turned the microphone off. You don't want to hear that. Uh, supernova 2012 AW. But see, this is a bar galaxy. This is the cent central uh, uh, circle around the central star, and then this bar comes across. But actually, this comes out. So um, I'm losing something in the uh, somewhere. I have to work on it. Let's look at it in grayscale. Can we look at it in grayscale? There's grayscale. This is the reverse. This is the negative. And you clearly see it. That is the supernova there. My adjustments aren't coming very easily. Okay, I got to auto adjust. I messed that up. It's not easy.
I'm going to be taking more images, so um, I don't have to fear that this is going to be my only image. Let's auto adjust, see what we get. Oh, that's going to go back to dark. Yeah. Let me see. Well, let's look at the fits header because we have the fits header. Here's the information when it was took, where it was took. Try to figure this out. Yeah, see that the header is not saved when you save in the form of other than fits file. Overwrite preservation is forbidden. Um, ACP itelescope.net SBG ST8300 color. Me, Francis Walsh was the observer. Filter color, light frame, site latitude, site longitude. owner of the telescope grass 20 date March 12th March 22nd sorry March 22nd at 309.40 UTC so I got a minus 6 so that's 309 a.m. so that's 909.40 p.m. Uh, actually it goes back another hour it's 7 so it's 8.40, 8.09, 8, 8.09 p.m. in Mayo, New Mexico. Here are the coordinates. 10.43.59 plus 11.42.0. Okay. Okay. Now, let's see what we do. Exposed. I see we have more. Let's uh, let's see. Like I said yesterday, it appears to be blue. Let's touch it off. You see the picture is very big. I'm getting to the full picture here now. Let's see if we can get this. There's Mars. And see that this was the whole picture, and it's still bigger than this. It reaches out, but you have M95 here in the center. You have the supernova down here. You have M96 over here. These two. Uh, there's. I, I think there's a. Is there more? Mars is this brightness up over here. If Mars wasn't there, this would be a darker image, but it's still a good image because I can... Well, that's too bright now. Well, I can wash it right out. And then it comes too dark. I'm going to move that first before I move this. see them start to show up on the dark star field let's um and you can already see the supernova there I can still brighten this up and in here will be uh, I don't think I can get them both in together. So I'm just going to, I'll bring them in. 